So I got a great story for you that I think uh, I think other amputees will relate to. On on Friday night, I was in Las Vegas at this thousand uh, dollar a plate fundraiser for children's hospitals with the Miss America pageant, right? And so it's a, you know it's a black tie event. So I'm wearing a tuxedo, and with my tuxedo, I, I like to wear a real bow tie, not like the clip on kind, like the kind that you actually have to tie in a bow, because uh, I just feel like it looks cool, it makes me feel good about myself. <laughs> but the thing is that uh, they're really hard to tie. Either that or, or I'm just really bad at tying them, um, or maybe both. But you know, my tie is always like kind of crooked, you know, and so I'm always trying to fix it, right? And I'm never sure if it's really worth it to be using a real bow tie rather than a clip-on. So anyway, about halfway through this dinner, uh, I'm, I'm in the men's room, I'm in the men's room, and I'm standing in front of the mirror, like trying to fix my bow tie, right? Trying to like straighten it out and pull it tight. And this guy walks in the room and he kind of walks by me, and if you're an amputee that is ever using crutches or it's real obvious that you're an amputee because of the way your prosthetic's made, you've had this experience, right, where people see you and they make a comment kind of a, like about your life. But it's, it's a comment like, oh, it looks, looks like you do pretty well with that, pretty well with that. And that is always referring to your disability, right? Uh, you know, it's, it's, you kind of get used to these things, but sometimes you don't. Because sometimes, you know, you don't really think about or how you're disabled, right? You just kind of get used to it. So this is what happened in this case, right? Because I'm sitting there, I'm full, fixing my bow tie, and the guy walks by, and he looks down at, you know, at me, and he's like, um, you know, looks like you do pretty well with that. But I was so concerned about my bow tie, I'm thinking he's talking about my bow tie, right? <laughs> he's like, it looks like you do pretty well with that. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, but yeah, I tell you what, it's pretty tough. It's pretty tough. He's like, yeah, I bet it would be. I, I can see it looks like it would be pretty tough. So, so here I am, thinking he's talking about my, my bow tie, but he's really talking about my life, right? About how my life is tough. And then I look at him and I'm like, you know what the truth is? Sometimes I don't even think it's worth it. Yeah. I just think it's just, it's just too hard and it's just not worth it. <laughs> so, so I'm talking about how I think it's not worth it to tie a real bow tie. This dude thinks I'm like suicidal. He gets real serious. By the way, th this is we were we are literally having this conversation at the urinals at this point. I this is not an exaggerated story at all. We're at the urinals, right? And I'm like, sometimes I just don't think it's worth it. And he like, you know, you know, normally you don't ever make eye contact in urinals, but he totally breaks that rule. He looks over at me, he's real serious. He's like, son, it's always worth it. It's always worth it. Don't ever forget that. And I was like. I guess I look pretty handsome tonight. I, I guess I, you know, that's what I'm thinking. I, I'm looking that good, right? That he thinks it, it, is, it is so worth it that you've got that real bow tie. And I'm like, thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. <laughs> and uh, it didn't hit me until like the next day. I was like, wait, he was not talking about my bow tie at all. That guy is probably like off having some like prayer vigil for me right now because he's so worried about how depressed I am. Uh, so anyway, I thought I, I would share that with you because like I said, I think that's a story that, that only other amputees uh, would really be able to appreciate.